Hello, boys and girls. My name is Sticky. Welcome to a fun-filled episode of I Am a Work of Art. In today's episode, our work of art is Nuru, who is a culinary artist. Sounds exciting? Well, come along, guys. Let's go make some food with Nuru. My name is Nuru. I'm eight years old. My surname is Minyukuguto, and my full name is Nuru Abona Peninia Minyukuguto. I'm making macaroni and cheese with a mushroom che- mushroom cheese sauce. You need mushrooms, cheese, any type of spice you'd like, milk, a pot, cutlery, and a stove. I'm using pepper a bit of paprika, salt, and steak and chopped spice. The first time I cooked was when I was helping my mother in the kitchen because my sister wasn't feeling well and my dad was sleeping. So my mom only had me to help her and we made spaghetti. My mom, you know, my, you know, perfect seasoning equals perfect meal. My name is Ricky Minuku and I'm Nuru's mom. I would describe Nuru as a um, very intelligent child. She puts her best into everything that she does. Um, she's very driven. Um, so everything that she decides she wants to do, when she, she does ballet, she's the best at it. She does karate, she's the best at it. She wants to cook, she's the best at it. Um, she's also a very sensitive child. Um, she's a child, what we call an empath. So she's very sensitive to her environment and the people around her. Um, and so she also likes to do things that are, she does it by herself because it's quiet space. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons she likes cooking because it's just like me, mommy, not so many other people around and she can be creative by herself, yeah. What I do for fun at home is I play with my brothers outside or I watch movies with my brothers or I cook with my mom in the kitchen or we make cards with with, with my younger brothers or I, most of the time I read. My name is Kiara Govinda and I am nine years old. Um, I met Nuru in grade R. She was my first friend and I thought that she was my best friend because she always played with me and I really liked her. She was never bossy, she was always fun. Some of the fun things we like to do are run around her garden, she paints my nails, yeah. Uh, my name is Malaika Minyukuguta, I'm 13 years old and I'm Nuru's sister. Um, living with Nuru is very interesting, very interesting. Um, She's very unexpected, yeah. I like playing board games like 30 seconds because it helps me learn and I can learn faster and it just gets my brain moving. Yeah, and then I do so one, two, three, four. What? Oh, eight. I, I, I'd do that. No. <laughs> it's abbreviation, mommy. You said it was a posture. You said you need to let them have it. Some of the fun things I like to do is mess around with food and just throw random things together and see how it tastes in the end of it. I enjoy cooking for my family because they tell me what what could improve and what and if it's perfect or if there's something slightly off and they don't say it's like I I can understand and hear them better. Look at how awesome these look. Look at this. Can I drink? Toast! To delicious lunch! Delicious lunch. My sister's the most person who critiques my food. I always critique on everything she does, especially her cooking. I'll tell her if there's too much salt or if something tastes weird. I'm not one to sugarcoat things. I don't really do it as in I want to make her feel bad, but more as in I want her to grow and learn and be the best person she can be. 
Uh -oh. I didn't get this cake of spice, but sometimes when I'm not happy with the taste, I would either redo it again, take things out, or put things in, or or do it again the same way, or change the way, and maybe not bake it or not put it in the pot. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to make ravioli. I like to make. I like to make different types of pasta. I like to make salad. I like to stuff different types of vegetables and fruit. And I also like to make smoothies. Wow! Nuru seems like she knows what she wants when she's in the kitchen. I want to learn more about cooking. So stay tuned, boys and girls, because after the break, a whole lot more is packed for you guys. We will be right back. Welcome back guys, you're watching I Am A Work Of Art. And today we get to make some delicious food with Nuru. She is now on her way to her cooking class with her teacher, Tamsin. Let's watch them cook up a storm. I normally practice my cooking on a Friday afternoon with my cooking teacher, Tamsin. Hi Nuru, hi Ricky. Hi, hi Tamsin. Hi, fun and you. Fun. Are you excited to come cook with us today? Yeah. Good. My name is Tamsin. I am the owner of the Little Cooks Club franchise for Sunning Hill and Kailami. I am a qualified chef. I am a mother of one, of a six-year-old, and I teach children, domestic workers and adults how to cook. I met Nuru during one school holiday program that I was holding. We had various cooking classes and she came and attended the classes and that's where I met her. I also teach cooking at her school as an extramural, so she attends those classes as well. Why do we wear an apron when we cook and we don't just cook in our clothes? Because we don't want to get dirty. No, we don't want to get our clothes full of food. We need to wash our hands before we start cooking. We don't want to get germs. Let's go to the bathroom. My cooking teacher is very... She's very kind and she do, she's not pushy and she doesn't shout. And if like the recipe is doing with pepper or salt or tomatoes, you don't have to put if you don't want it in your meal. So we're making coronation chicken volavant. So volavant is a puff pastry case. So if we do that, do you want to cut one out? Here we go. Let's lift it up and see. What do you think? It's quite a good size, hey? All right. So now we're going to use flour. Why do we use flour when we're putting pastry on? So it never sticks. Perfect. Do you want to scatter? I would best describe Nuru as energetic, fun-loving, outgoing child that's very passionate and very involved in everything she does. She doesn't do anything half-heartedly. She does everything wholeheartedly with everything that she has. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna put these into the oven. I've preheated the oven to 200 degrees. So now we're gonna put it in. What do you always remember when you're using the oven? Always use oven gloves. Always use oven gloves and ask mom and dad, or dad, or mom to help you. Okay, let's pop these in the oven. Here's some safety tips, boys and girls. First things first, make sure that an adult is with you at all times. This is very important, guys. If you're allowed to use a knife or other sharp objects, point the blade away from yourself and keep your fingers away from the blade when you're cutting. Let's see if Tamsin has a little trick for Nuru on how to use a knife. Let's check it out. Okay, so when we're cutting now, Remember the curly fingers that we've spoken about? So make your fingers curly. And then you're gonna cut down. Okay? We make our fingers curly, because if they're flat, you can cut your finger. If they're curled, the knife's gonna go against your finger, your hand, you if it's have a little scrape. Yes, yeah, a little scrape, but it won't cut your fingers off. So we use curly fingers. These are chicken strips, so we just wanna make them a little bit smaller. And then we're going to pop them into this bowl. So coronation chicken salad is something that we teach the younger children from the age of two to make. It's something healthy, it's something different. It includes chicken, which is very healthy, and then the salad portion. With the older children, we like to use 
that base as well. So using that healthy aspect, but then we like to make it a little bit more challenging for them. So that's where adding the pastry and the boulevard comes. We could always just put chicken, make a chicken pie and wrap it in the pastry, but the boulevard is something that's a little bit more advanced for the older children. I think we might have a problem filling this tiny one. What do you think? Maybe that will just be the taster. Maybe, yes. You always want to garnish your food because you eat with your eyes first. So if it doesn't look nice, you're not going to If it doesn't look it. pleasant, it's not like you're going to want to eat it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like making it look presentable because if the food doesn't look nice, you're not going to want to eat it. Even if it tastes good, you're not going to want to eat it if it doesn't look good. Because I have, I have a friend who can't smell and the way she tells about how she wants to eat the food is she looks at it and sees that it's good food. So I like to play with colors and different designs. And you eat with all your senses. So you smell the so food? So you smell the food, yeah. You taste the food. Yes. You look at the food yes. and you feel the food. Yes, and you hear the food. How? Because did you, did you hear this when you broke it? Yes. And when you bite this, it's going to go? Crunch. Crunch. Lua yeah. has grown a lot since I first met her with yeah. cooking classes. She joined me on a holiday program where she was a newbie and it was the first time I'd met her. She did very well in the kitchen. I only realized halfway through the lesson how well she'd actually done. When she was just about completed with with the prescribed dish and the other children were still busy. I then realized that she's a lot more advanced than other children her age. And since then, she's just grown from strength to strength. We've moved her into an older class in the cooking classes that she does because she's just on that level. She's on a higher level than everybody else just because of her passion and her drive for cooking. Everything needs a little extra. I think Nora's gonna do very well in the food industry. She is going to push people's boundaries. Now it's perfect. Looks lovely. I think she's going to introduce her family and the people that know her to some very interesting dishes. She's going to challenge what everybody thinks is the norm when it comes to cooking, because she's just got that personality and that passion and relationship with food. She's going to go a very long way. The most challenging dish I've ever had to make has been stuffed baby brinjals because when I stuffed them, I had to make sure the outside wasn't too bitter when they came out of the oven. So then they were bitter the first batch and we had to try it the next day because we were out of brinjals. The incredibly versatile baby brinjals, or eggplants as some may call it, works with everything from Italian to Asian recipes. It makes a tasty replacement for meat too. Simply boil them for about 20 minutes, add salt and water, and voila. I'm hoping for my own restaurant where I do things like ravioli and more Italian things. We have a big surprise for Nuru after the break, friends. She will get to meet someone who owns a restaurant. But shh, don't say a word. We will be right back. Welcome back, friends. You are still tuned into I Am A Work of Art. Nuru is now on her way to meet Chef Peli, who owns a five-star restaurant called Black Bamboo. I can't wait to see this. Come along. Here. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Hello. 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 I'm Peli. I'm Peli Krobler. I'm the head chef and one of the owners here at Black Bamboo Restaurant. Um, I've been cooking for a good couple of years now, and it's always been a dream to open a restaurant in Victoria that's different, that's unique, um, that really thinks of all aspects of dining, not just the actual food, but you know what kind of wine list you want and what you want the, the guest actually to experience while they're in your restaurant. Chef Peli Hrobla is the head chef at the Black Bamboo in Men Lane Hotel. His commitment, charisma, 
and culinary genius has placed the restaurant in the international culinary world. He is known for his most scrumptious and popular creations, such as his famous upside down lemon meringue, tempura oysters, and springbok wellington. Nero, welcome to the restaurant. This is our little um, restaurant area where we serve all our guests. So we've got our little welcome area over there where we welcome guests with our nice wine rack. The kitchen is through that side where the bar is. And um, let's go and have a chat. When did you start cooking? About 13, 14 was the years that I sort of really fell in love with cooking and started cooking. But professionally, since I was like 18, 19. So when did you decide to open a restaurant? You know, once you, you reach a, a certain level, um, you always want to open your own, your own restaurant and you want to always um, express your own creativity and cook your own food. Um, so it's always, it's always been a dream to, to really um, run and operate your own restaurant. Why did you decide to cook instead of bake? Um, I think I also I love pastry and I love baking, but I think um, my style of cooking and the, the things that I like to cook um, is leaning more, more towards the savory stuff and not necessarily all the sweet stuff. What is your favorite dish? That's a difficult thing. I mean, even if I ask you what's your favorite dish, this, it changes all the time. I think currently on our menu, we've got a very nice salmon gravelax, which is like a cured salmon dish, and that gets a little bit of um, orange mousse, and orange segments and um, tapioca, uh, little tapioca shards, which is very, very nice. I think the flavors of that dish is just super balanced and um, it's just such a nice dish to eat and such a pretty dish to look at. So at the moment on our menu, that is my favorite dish. What do you want to cook today? Not sure. You're not sure, but I know I, I hear that you really love baking. So do you, do you feel like making some chocolate brownies? Yeah. I feel like making something savory. Something savoury. If you like some, making something savoury. So how about we make that uh, salmon dish that we that we discussed? Okay, let's go. Let me go and show you. Yay! I can already taste the food in my mouth. But first, let's go see them prepare the salmon and caviar dish for us. So what's the what's the first thing we do when we work in the kitchen? Wash. Wash your hands. Yes. There we go. All right, and then with the chef's apron. Okay, what we're gonna be doing, like we said, uh, my favorite dish at the moment on our menu is the salmon. Now, this is a fresh piece of salmon, and we're gonna use this cured salmon today as that. All right, so I think the first thing is, you can actually just cut that piece of fish for us right in half. Ah, nice, and I'm gonna take half of the portion, and then we're gonna plate here side by side. So you're gonna watch what I do, and then we're gonna so you're going to cut it in half again. Okay, and then we're going to put it on the plate. I'm just going to arrange it nicely on the plate, standing up to top. And we're going to start with a little, little bit of a carrot mousse. There's three little dots and one on top there. And a little garlic puree. That's it. I'm actually going to ask you to blowtorch this for us. I'm going to put it in front of you. All right, so we light the blowtorch. I'm sure you've worked on these before. And we just blowtorch those until they're nice and caramelized. And then we're just going to arrange it on the plate. And so we're going to take a little bit of caviar. Take a couple of these little violets. I just tear the leaves off and we just place a couple of the leaves over whatever you want. And that just brings nice color and the violets also, you can eat these. So people, gives a nice flavor to the, to the dish as well. Next, this is a little tapioca crisp. If we can just, this gives a nice texture and put it all over. 
first time I met Nuru, um, it's uh, really, really nice to meet someone that's that young and already knowing what they want to do for the rest of their life. I think the experience for her in the kitchen today was actually nice to see what a professional kitchen looks like. I don't know how many kids ever have the opportunity to go into the back of a professional kitchen. And um, it was very nice for me to see that she really has some knife skills. She's not, she's not um, scared to use some of the implements. Um, we, we made the salmon gravel axe dish today, which um, we plated side by side. And it was very encouraging to see that she could stay with and she, she understood what, why, why we're doing things and what we're doing. I think you can come and work in my kitchen if I look at uh, how you plated this. How was the plating of the dish for you? Beautiful. Was it nice? Did you enjoy doing that? Is that uh, the kind of style that you want to go and do one day? Yes. Well, let's taste and see how it, how it is. What do you think? It's divine. What's your favorite part of the dish? The salmon. The salmon you enjoy? With caviar. Salmon. With a caviar. It's not a lot of kids that enjoy salmon with caviar, so I'm glad you're enjoying it. It tastes really delicious. My favorite thing is the caviar adds a little bit of salt. It adds a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. So all of these little elements on the plate is actually designed to touch on all of those taste buds in your mouth. I'm planning on opening a restaurant with a bakery and a normal food. Okay. Well, do you want like a deli style or, or a little bit more like an actual restaurant or just a bakery or a combination of both? A combination of both mixed into one so there would be a dessert menu and a... Um... Okay. So if you, uh, Nero, if you have to rate this dish, how, would, how much would you give it out of five? Ten out of five. Ten out of five. Wow, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it that much. It's very nice meeting you, and I'm definitely going to stay three nights there. Great, thank you very much. And you're always welcome in the kitchen if you want. You can just give me a shout, and you're welcome to come and play around with us. All right. I think um, what was really inspiring for me to see is that she really has a vision of where she wants to go to and, and you can hear from her that she's, she really, she's working at that, that's where she, she's got this goal and she wants to go, you know, go get that goal if it makes sense and my advice to her is to go full out, enjoy it as much as you can, eat as much as you can and uh, remember wh wh why you set out on this path, remember that you, what your end goal is and just keep working at it and she will get there. We made salmon something, which is Peli Hobler's favorite drink, favorite food, and it was delicious. And the thing that made it most delicious was the caviar with its bit of saltiness and the sourcing with its sweetness. My name's Nurmin Yukaguta, and I'm a work of art. That looked amazing. After today, I'm sure Nuru will one day own her dream restaurant and we can all go and dine there. Right, friends? That's all we have time for in today's episode, friends. I hope you are feeling inspired and ready to show the world all your great skills. See you again next week with another work of art. Bye-bye for now.